Hi all, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, I was asked one of the query at uh, value at risk, but interestingly, it was not really pertaining to the normal distribution. So in this case, uh, we will look at uh, how to calculate value at risk for a random variable who is which is uh, uniformly distributed. So let's have a look at the question. Before I go ahead, uh, I would strongly suggest request you to subscribe to my channel, share with your friends, colleagues, and uh, other students also who are preparing for FRM exam so that they also get benefited out of it. Let's have a look. So let me spot. Yeah, so we have a investment which has a dis uniform distribution where all the outcomes uh, you have are between minus 40 to plus 60. And uh, as it suggests that it's a uniform distribution. So something very, uh, very obvious, it, given it's a uniformly distributed, then uh, the likelihood of all the outcomes would be equally distributed. So now, uh, my apologies, because this, the cut that I was sent did not have the complete, but it is says that uh, what are the war and uh, expected shortfall? So we have to calculate value at risk and uh, expected shortfall with a confidence level of 95%. So let's have a look. It's a very interesting question, usually because uh, we have a tendency to uh, like if I were to plot normally, usually we think that it's a normal distribution and we can just uh, find the value X corresponding to the uh, 5 per 95 percentile. So we get a loss corresponding to this X. But interestingly, in this case, it's not a normal distribution. So let's see how we can solve it. So as it, let me turn back to my. Okay, let me draw it. I think I will, I will just put a rectangle, but it's not available. So let me plot it for you. This is my y-axis, this is my x-axis. And uh, the likelihood or the variable that we have in, say, for example, let's call it at x, which has which is uniformly distributed between minus 40 and 60. <clears throat> now, what we have been asked is, let me change the color bit because now it's interesting. So what we have been given is, say for example, uh, this is minus 40 and uh, the value layer, layer, the extreme value on the right hand side is 60, that's plus 60. And uh, we have been asked that uh, what is a 95th percentile VAR and the expected shortfall. So what uh, usually we, what we do, we uh, in normal, distribution we just find this point in this case also the logic would be same but uh, let's see how do we find this x so i have to find this x which corresponds to this 95th percentile or 5 percentile whatever you call it so uh, and uh, we have been given this minus the, the information that we have been given is this one and the other information is it's uniformly distributed. Now let's see, we're using this two information, how do we find the, uh, the 95th percentile VAR and the expected shortfall. So given it's a uniformly distribution outcome, the, the probability of getting minus 40 or 60 or any other value between these two, uh, numbers would be same and how that can be calculated as so distance between that and one, one reciprocal of that is a probability so if i were to 
tell it's like probability of uh, x would be it's 1 upon b minus a in this case our b is uh, 60 so this is b and this is your a so 60 minus minus 40 so which comes to 1 upon 100 now what you have been given is uh, this particular length that is probability x value of y is 1 over 100 and uh, this area the area under this bar you have to find the 5 percent so this portion basically is 5 percent of the total rectangle okay so this is the information so this is the width is uh, <clears throat> we have to find the width so basically we have we if we have to find x then what we can do we can find the width and add that width to the minus 40 to get this x so the, we have been given the length and this area okay so uh, if you recollect our area of our rectangle is uh, length into breadth okay so area we have been given is five percent so it's 0 0.05 is equal to length is over one by hundred and breadth we have to find it out so we will get breadth as 100 into 5 0.05 that would be five so now we got beef that is a bread or so I, th this distance is five. So when you start from minus 40 and if you travel five units to get this X, so this X would be minus 35. So this is what we were looking for. So we are at 95th percentile is minus 35. Okay, so now uh, what second question we have been asked is expected shortfall. So if you are, as you know, the expected shortfall is a loss given loss has exceeded, uh, expected loss given loss has exceeded the VAR amount of loss. So this is minus 35 and this is 40. So midpoint of this would be expected shortfall. So if I were to say that expected shortfall, it would be average of minus 40 that is my extreme loss and 95th percentile loss uh, this would be midpoint of 40 and 35 that's minus 37.5 so my final outcome is VAR corresponds to minus 35 and uh, expected shortfall corresponds to minus 37.5 so that's your final answer which you have been asked i mean now uh, this this was a very easiest way pictorial way i mean how you can find uh, <clears throat> find particular vr but if you like maths and formula so there is uh, the straightforward formula also so which says for normal distribution probability of any x between these two lines is x minus a divided by b minus a so if if i were to calculate v this x corresponding to 95th percentile what i will do i have been given the 5% this particular probability as 5% so i will keep this as 5% i have to find x and my a is uh, minus 40 and my b is 60 minus of minus 40 so if we calculate this 0 0.05 and uh, x plus 40 divided by 100 so once we uh, shift this 100 on that side it would be 5 x plus 40 so 5 minus 40 would be equal to x x would be equal to minus 35 what we got in our this method as well so this is uh, 
method one using the pictorial and this is method two for the people who like maths a lot and they want to use this formula this is very straightforward and the expected shortfall my apologies let me redo it So yeah, so this is your final answer in the method two as well. Hope you like the video. If yes, please do share with your friends as well. So they also know uh, how do we calculate value at risk in the case of uniform distribution. Thank you very much for watching. Stay connected.